In the vast expanse of the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, USA, a team of British engineers and one exceptional driver pushed the limits of human innovation. On October 15, 1997, Andy Green, a seasoned fighter pilot with the Royal Air Force, climbed into the cockpit of Frusk, a jet-powered car designed to shatter the world land speed record. Green's mission was to drive Frusk to speeds never before achieved on land. The car, developed by a British team led by Richard Noble, was a marvel of engineering, powered by two after-burning Rolls-Royce Bay turbofan engines, the same engines used in the British version of the F4 Phantom to jet fighter. Frusk was built for one purpose, to go faster than anyone else. As Green accelerated across the dry lake bed, Frusk began to defy the laws of land travel. The speed needle climbed higher and higher until it reached an astonishing 1,227.985 km per hour, or 763.035 miles per hour. But that wasn't all. TH or USTSSC did something no land vehicle had done before. It broke the sound barrier, reaching Mach 1.016. Green's skill as a fighter pilot was crucial in controlling the car at such extreme speeds. The team had chosen him for his exceptional reflexes and ability to stay focused under intense pressure. And it paid off. When the dust settled, Thrusts could not only broken the world land speed record, but had cemented its place in history as the first land vehicle to officially exceed the speed of sound. The achievement was the culmination of years of hard work and dedication by the British team. Richard Noble's vision, combined with the engineering prowess of the team and Green's driving skills, made this record possible. The Black Rock Desert, with its vast, flat expanse of dry lake bed, provided the perfect canvas for this feat of speed. Today, Andy Green's record remains an iconic moment in the history of speed. Thrust's achievement continues to inspire new generations of engineers, drivers, and anyone who's ever dreamed of pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The record set on that day in October 1997 stands as a testament to British innovation and the human spirit's quest for speed. That's the story of Andy Green and Thrust's a tale of speed, innovation, and the pursuit of excellence.